We want to take you live outside now, a look at traffic on I-35 and Riverside. All is calm and okay right now, but this is just one of the areas where the interstate does see gridlock. TxDOT has a plan to fix the congestion that we see around rush hour, and the city of Austin plans to transform how it looks. They want to build green spaces on top of the interstate to connect East Austin and the heart of downtown. Supporters for this overhaul say this concept will unify those parts of the city of Austin. City leaders tell KXAN's Brianna Hollis they're now in the process of securing funding. Well, I think it will be nice to have some, you know, green space. What are your thoughts on this project so far? That's fantastic. Anders Forfang lives right near I-35. Over my apartment building, I look over the highway currently. And says he would prefer this view to this one. I mean, it certainly would be a lot nicer to have, you know, a park and green space to look at. Here are renderings of what this project will look like. This is a cap. This is a stitch. They'll run over I-35. Really for downtown to be able to bridge together the east and west sides of Austin. Um, and I also like to traverse from downtown over to East Austin, so it'd certainly be nice to be able to, you know, walk through that and take my dog. According to a memo released Monday, we're now in phase two of the plan. During phase one, city leaders decided where the caps would go, which include multiple spots between Cesar Chavez and 12th streets. Now they're deciding what exactly to put in those spaces get into more robust conversations in the coming months uh, with the community about, you know, what we want to see on the on the on the caps, what types of uses of spaces. With that comes the question of money. The memo states the city is looking into several potential federal funding opportunities, including any money that could be allocated from the recently approved infrastructure bill. That's obviously one of the probably the bigger challenges, um, but you know, we feel like we can work through that. Brianna Hollis, KXAN News. City of Austin hopes to launch this project in 2025. Officials say they're working on scheduling in-person public input meetings on the project now that local COVID restrictions have been lifted. We'll let you know once they release an official timeline. Now for a little context on how this design concept will help unite East and downtown Austin. Activists have referred to I-35 as both a physical and symbolic barrier, segregating East Austin and its traditionally black and Latino neighborhoods from downtown.